Hello, my fellow Hawkins pilots, Hobbs is here, and yes, I am back. I know it's been a week since I've posted anything on YouTube or been active on the forums. That was because I was off on a mission trip for about a week in Mexico. It was awesome. I had tons of tacos. There was dust everywhere. And on the last day, Friday, I got to shit my pants out the entire day. It was awesome. And by awesome, well, as awesome as crapping your pants can be. But... <laughs> Anyways, you know, it was fun, I had a nice little rest, but now I'm back with you guys, I'm gonna be here Hawk playing Hawken, and this is gonna be much more of my casual series outside of the tutorials that I do. I'll still do tutorials every now and then when I feel like I have uh, enough material to get something ready and something serious, but, you know, for now I feel like I'll just do something casual and just, you know, show you guys around. I mean, of course... I'm doing this commentary after I had recorded uh, this game, and this game is actually a deathmatch on Wreckage, me against two other people initially. One of them's in a Predator, and I'm doing my best not to get in the traps, but this match actually gets a little bit interesting. However, it does start off a little bit quiet, and as you can, and I don't know, I'm just hopping around with my uh, train of thought here. Uh, as you can tell, by the, the, the title of the series is a little bit fancy. I don't know why, I just like alliterations. Hawk, Hobbs, Hunting, Hawk, and Hooligans, and uh, I don't know. The alliteration just feels like it'll catch people's attention, and nope. Oh, seeing a little bit of action, uh, I think there was an assault out there, but then I see that Predator running off. He's severely wounded, and I'm going like, yep, I'm going in for that. However, you could tell most of the, the beginning of this match, I'm doing my best to keep off of radar. That way I don't end up being chased down heavily by someone, you know, uh, sneaking up on me. And that's usually how I play deathmatch. I usually try to play a lot more sneaky. But, speaking of sneaky, that Predator managed to slip me. I didn't quite see him, although, I, I don't know if you've spotted him already, but, you know, I'm trying to look around here, looking around, nope. Let's see something and BAM! You see, right there, I got him. Oh man, if I, that predator, I will hand it to him, he was good at staying hidden and, you know, trying to escape that way. If I had just not, like, seen him out of the corner of my eye, and if I wasn't used to spotting predators, I would have had him right there. But, you know, unfortunately, these two guys I was up against, they are not as experienced as me, so I will say that this match was a little bit unfair in my favor. And, you know, if you had seen my, a lot of my tutorials, you can obviously tell the biggest mistake that that assault mech is making. He's flying way too much, especially against me. He's just making it an easy target for me. I don't know what he was thinking. But yeah, uh, yeah. But like I said, that guy, he's obviously less experienced than I was. So, you know, I mean, what can I do? I'm in the middle of a match, you know. I would dole out tips and stuff like that. But I think I was going for the daily win bonus on here. So, it was no holds bar. And yeah, as far as that predator, what he could have done is, well, you know, because he had seen that I was clearly distracted for a long time. Even though I was, uh, pretty, uh... I don't know, I don't know if he would have been able to alpha strike me and try to take me out like that, but it would have been a good chance that, speaking of predators, like, you know, I just, I just barely saw him and managed to, you know, slap him before, uh, you know, I completely died. And, oh, here's some of that shield dueling, uh, that I show you, you know, just weaving in and out of the shields, trying to keep alive, and then, nope, uh, let's see, oh yeah, I've hit, I hit my blitz right here to give me a little bit of a speedy advantage, and then, BAM, get him with my bolt, and... Yeah, I use this, I actually, yeah, I don't die throughout this match, and here I'm trying to be careful because I know that Predator's out there, if I, if I know, if I, he sees me go into repair mode, he's probably going to come after me, and I think he's using the EOC repeater, and that other, uh, Raider is using the, uh, uh the Reflack, oh yeah, if you haven't already guessed, this is my Raider mech. But as far as unexperienced as these guys were, I will hand it to them. They actually did pretty good, uh, considering it was me they were up against. I'm not saying I'm that great, I'm just saying most new guys, eh, they'll have a hard time trying to fight a guy who has any decent experience. Especially that uh, Predator who's using the EOC repeater, even though he seemed kind of green. He actually seemed sort of smart for what he's doing, and oh my gosh, that guy was an aerial raider. He was just... Oh my gosh. He was asking to get shot. He didn't even... I don't even think he had, a uh, like, a. Uh, the air compressor on that. But yeah, here, I think the raider got away from me because he was able to blitz away, but then I'm chasing down this predator right here, and I think maybe he should have uh, tried to, you know, go out, but of course I uh, intercept and then managed to get him. People, I don't know why, people always assume that people are going to chase from directly behind them. I'm usually that guy who will just come up, intercept you, right, I'll end up right in front of you and then shoot you down as you're trying to escape, I know, I don't know, just intercepting is just so much more efficient and so much more fun because usually when people are panicking like that, they're not paying to attention to the radar as much and so they'll just assume that you're chasing right behind them and they won't expect you to come out from up front, you know, just suddenly, boo, right there, you know, 
like I like an interception and whatnot. I, that's probably one of the best things I love to do in this game is just intercepting people. But yeah, uh, speak about the deathmatch game mode itself. Personally, like you can see me playing is like I generally try not to boost or uh, dodge around too much when I'm not really inside of combat. That way, I can maintain radio silence. You know, kind of scope out the area if I see things uh, appear on my radar I can tell that people are fighting I'll usually do my best to try and intercept without uh, pinging my radar pinging the enemy's radar because you know stealth is probably one of the better options over force in this game and then oh yes I get to use my blitz and chase this uh, predator down just nope he is not getting away and so that is the beauty of blitz being able to chase people down and I think I'm dominating both of them at this point again like I said this game is way way unfair in my favor so you know unfortunately this game is kind of a stomp I would not say in any way that this is a fair fight but uh, yeah you can see that the blitz was great and what was I talking about earlier I think it was uh, crap oh no, well there's a little I forgot but yeah here's a little bit of peekaboo action right here you know I'm trying to stay a little bit uh, you know close and that's why I like the t32 bolt over the reflag because it's got a little bit better uh, it's got a little it does a little bit better in that kind of a situation but yeah you can see a little bit of Raider piloting technique here. I, I, I'm not sure if I can explain it all the best, but you know, just watch my Raider video if you want a bit more in depth of how to introduce yourself to the Raider. But for now, try to learn what you can do from here. And I think what happened here is that I don't know what happened, but apparently, uh, I think what happened was that the Raider died from fall damage, and then the Predator accidentally blew himself up with his own mines. And so I just got there. I'm like, wait, what? What's going on? Okay. <laughs> you know, it was, it was just like over before I had even gotten there. But yeah, I mean, most of this match was just me uh, just taking these guys out because, you know, there really wasn't much they could do against me. And All right, and you can see some serious raider dueling around here, me dodging around using corner to my advantage. And, oh man, that predator was right in the middle of there and I had no idea that was there. Well, I managed to take him out. I think maybe that guy or either the predator managed to get himself on his mine trying to dodge around here and somehow I managed to kill that guy I think maybe he either blew himself up or I just got a really lucky uh, you know snapshot with my t32 bolt I have no idea it's probably more likely that he uh, blew himself up but you know as far as this match goes I think uh, yeah, I think this is pretty much yeah this is pretty much the thing of the, the yeah the whole game was kind of like this I mean I kind of felt bad for the guys but ooh radar signal that's why I do my best not to dodge or anything and he's perfect line and ah shit I even missed my Merv there but I don't know why he keep, uh, he is that guy has not seen my Raider video because he keeps flying and he keeps flying right into my Merv and I'm just dodging around him and just ah oh, just giving him a bad time and then what happens here? oh my god predator yeah <laughs> I, uh, I saw that. I was like, I looked, I hesitated. I'm like, like, uh, wait, what? Bang! I'm like, oh shit! Like, that's the raider. And then, nope, blitz. And I clo quickly close the distance on the guy. He's like, that's another thing you can use blitz for is to quickly, uh, you know, close the distance on people. And oh, the Zuki guy. That I think, I believe he's one of you guys out here. All I know is uh, you. Uh, he was this guy who entered in the game, and this guy was the one who was in the game who brought me the closest to death. I mean, when you see the duel when he was in his infiltrator, you will know it's him. And then uh, I think that assault, or that guy who was going raider, he actually went sharpshooter here for some reason, because he thought that was a good idea. But yeah, that Zuki guy, he had watched my infiltrator tutorials, and he's watched my other videos too, and oh man, I will tell you, he was the hardest fight in this entire game. But right now, I'm just, uh, let's see, I'm, uh... All right, yeah, he's fighting in the sharpshooter. He's trying to keep his, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why he went sharpshooter against the raider. And oh man, he managed to give me a severe beating right here. I'm just trying to do my best to get away. But then it looks like, uh, I think this is that infiltrator and then the sharpshooter are take doing a little bit of battle right now. Then oh yeah, there's the infiltrator. I got 80 health. I'm just about dead. Hit blitz and now, oh man, he's healing up. Oh shit, only eight health now. Ah, uh, oh jeez, and I'm just, 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 yes, I got him. Yes, I got him! Oh, man, but, ah, oh, jeez, that was, like, one of the closest moments in that game. I thought I was about to die, but, oh, man, I didn't. But then, actually, uh, right here, oh, yeah, he's, uh, he says, I love your videos, and then he's like, oh, it, it, it's just an amazing feeling. I mean, I'm glad that I get to meet some of you guys in game who have seen my videos, and obviously that Zuki guy, I mean, he was a pretty tough fight. I mean, I, I mean, granted, I was only at 80 health at the time, but still, that guy, he had a good idea what he was doing. I could see from the way he was moving, and, uh, just, yeah, just uh, stuff like that. Especially, like, right here. We try to, we were, were, uh, dueling right here, and, oh, man, if the fight had gone on, I actually may have lost that fight, because, uh, 
well, yeah, both that infiltrator and the sharpshooter were there, but no, I managed to pull off the win, and yeah, get my daily bonus, and uh, yeah, I guess that's it for my first episode of uh, me hunting Hawk and Hooligans. Uh, if you guys like this and you want more, uh, I definitely can do always do more. I can always easily record this, and who knows, maybe you guys might end up in my game. Uh, and if you liked uh, what you saw, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, do whatever you have you, and check out my tutorial videos if you're new, but hey, for now, this is Hobbs, signing off.